All right, hello. This will be another collective energy reading, another collective check-in and tarot reading. Because right now I'm getting the message that some of you are running from something or you're avoiding something. You also may have your your attention span split up into many different things. I'm seeing someone with a lot of kids to look after. They may not necessarily be your own, but there are a lot of kids. Um, again, a teacher with students or someone with a lot of, you know, cats or dogs, a lot of animals, a lot of responsibilities. And it takes up a lot of your time and energy. I'm thinking of, you know, tabs on a browser computer. And so that is really like occupying your thoughts as you try to avoid something else. And I'm not sure exactly what you're avoiding. You could be avoiding your higher purpose. But let's go ahead and get the collective energy. All right, spirit, universe, what's the energy? Okay, we have Volcano. We have a lot of cards that popped out. Okay, we have the Volcano and the Moon. Right, so I'm, again, there's this like explosive energy, this high energy, and it's you just trying to run through life. You're trying to speed through life by getting a lot done. You're putting in a lot of different applications. Um, but it's really like going to lead to burnout. We also have the skull. You know, this high energy is going to bubble away and it's not going to last very long, right? And the volcano is really telling me this tower energy of things, um, you know, being flipped on their head. All right, things are about to change around you and I think for a lot of you, you're trying to run away from that change, even if you don't want to. It's just that, you know, change is scary and you don't know how to put yourself into this new position. With the moon card, I am seeing um, the reflection of your inner self. And for a lot of you, you know, that's really hard to deal with. Like, you're doing, like, if you're doing, like, therapy workbooks and you're doing a lot of, like, psychological like inner workings and dealing with like your shadow self and dealing with past trauma it can be you know very difficult and you don't want to maybe you don't want to address the bad parts of yourself so you're just trying to you know you're trying to focus on the good and you're trying to ignore all of the faults that you have but the thing is it's okay to have faults because these faults are really what make you strong and it's what make you you and you need to come into acceptance of those faults and like accept what happened in the past happened for a reason right i mean i hate that saying as much as anyone i know a lot of you out there probably hate that saying oh what happened happened for a reason like it it, it sucks to um put it that way but um it's like, you have to accept what happened, you have to accept the trauma and the abuse, but you don't have to forgive the person, you don't have to like, like acknowledge that it happened, alright, but don't take no shit, right, um, don't be all like, well, it happened, <laughs> like, it, it's really just giving me the energy of writing down what happened and working through it and it's like it's like acceptance but it's more so like this happened and now I'm better and I'm stronger <laughs> because of it uh, the song what doesn't kill me makes me stronger it's really hard for me to put into words right now because I, I'm just, it feels like a lot of you out there are at a loss of words of a lot of the energy that's surrounding you and there's like a lot of family drama 
and like people saying stuff and you kind of just want to you know you want it all to go away so you can relax and you know sit down and drink some wine and have a bubble bath because it's like it's too much but you don't want to admit it's too much because you have been seen as the person who's been strong and you don't want to be all like I'm weak and you don't want to admit that there are times that you may need help and it's okay to need help and for some of you if you have been thinking of reaching out to someone or seeking therapy that this is definitely the spread is really telling me that like you know this is the time especially as you're about to step in to this new path all right so we have mirror treat your body like the palace it is there's that self-love um we also have lavender surround yourself with love you know get with your friends light a candle you know that bubble bath and wine like i said um I really love that the lavender card came out because I am burning a lavender candle right now and I, I was already connecting with that <laughs> before I pulled that card. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this collective really needs some lavender in their life. All right, flower, be honest with yourself. Yeah, some of you, you want to bloom like a flower, but there's so much holding you back. You're not giving yourself enough water, right? You have to nourish the soil for that flower to bloom, okay? We also have the author Jamaica Kincaid with history. Again, it's like, you don't wanna hang your dirty laundry, you don't wanna tell people what you've been through because those people may have a different impression of you, they may view you differently if you tell them about your past about your exes about your family about your trauma or like where you came from a lot of you may be you know um living in a foreign country and that kind of isolates you and you feel you know isolated from yourself or you feel isolated from your culture your ancestors but this spread is really telling me like you have to grow tall like a tree okay like all that history that you have gained all of that knowledge you know the knowledge starts from our roots and you've worked your way up and you're now you know again you're now um the leaves may have fallen off your tree we may be you know in the fall season or whatever but it's like you're now like ready to like start growing leaves and blooming like you're like this really tall tree that's been there for a while and you don't recognize your self-worth and you don't recognize all this talent that you have and that you've built up over time because you're so blinded by you know all of this chaotic chaotic energy and you're blinded by the fact that you know bad stuff may have happened and you but it's like <laughs> you kind of just need to chill right now because if you just take this like stressful energy with you then it will do you no good right because there is definitely some significant changes coming in your life um collective yeah oh, okay we have the page of wands just collective need to know You also have the star card. Yeah, for some of you, you may have, again, it's that isolation. You've isolated yourself so long that you don't want recognition for, you know, again, your accomplishments and your talents, but that recognition is coming whether you like it or not. We also have the six of cups, right? There's nostalgia here. There's you know, childlike wonder and wanting to get back to happier times, but like you're spending so much time reminiscing about, you know, this one moment in time or you're, or you're daydreaming about this one person that that is really like blocking you from being able to move forward because you've spent so much energy into thinking of how things can be better 
instead of, you know, going forward and making things better, right? With this Page of Wands, I really do see a lot of new growth and new energy coming forward of you just like you know those 10 tabs that you have up on your browser it's going to like lessen the strain on your mind right for some of you who feel like burnt out um you're not going to feel burnt out anymore i mean there's still going to be like remnants of that burnout but it's like what used to stress you out say like a year ago or six months ago it's gonna start feeling like nothing, right? Those 10 kids, 10 cats that you have, whatever. Um, all of that like chaotic energy is going to lessen because you're going to be able to like incorporate it in your mind, if that makes sense. Like you're gonna be able to manage it better. You're gonna be able to manage your opportunities better and it's going to give you a lot less stress, okay? You're going to want to move forward and start on this, you know, this new change, this new project. Let me get some clarifier on like, what is this change coming your way? Okay. What change can the collective expect? What change can the person expect? Yeah, I'm really seeing abundance with the grape. And it's a water sign, okay? We do have a, a lot of water in your reading. Again, there's that reflective energy. What change can Wholeness. You know, being whole. And it, it's uh, black mulberry also. We have Aquarius, which is what I was thinking. Number 33, 33. And number 23. Right. There's also a locket, a necklace of some kind with abundance. Right. You're so Sagittarius, which I do see that fire energy with the Page of Wands, Again, for a lot of you, this change that is coming is really um, for a lot of you, this change that is coming is what you've manifested, and you don't even realize that you've manifested it. Again, it's those leaves finally being able to sprout from the tree. It's the fruit of your labor, all right? It's that abundance. It's being able to reap what you sow and you don't recognize that you've sown a lot of goodness you've sown a lot um you've built the building blocks for the next stage in your life and so that's why this volcano energy it just everything seems like a lot right now and it's like so stressful and it's like weighing you down it's like someone put a brick on top of you but the universe really wants you to know that like it's okay <laughs> because you clearly have you know like you clearly have blessings coming your way All right let's get a couple more signs for you again Sagittarius we have the number two again Oh, I'm the color purple. Oh my gosh. 
if you could see this spread right now purple is everywhere oh my gosh and the, oh that's another thing like before i sat down i thought of the name amethyst all right because i have an amethyst gemstone but like specifically the name amethyst or the name amy like really came through for me so for someone like the color amethyst or the name amethyst that could be really significant and it's it, it's like oh my gosh it's all coming together so i have an amethyst pendulum right now and we're going to do something a little bit different um if you're listening right now i want you to think of a question that i can answer with yes or no and so we will do a pendulum reading for the collective um and whatever comes out comes out so if you want to think of a yes or no question right now then do that <laughs> all right okay for those of you that have asked your question let's get the answer okay so your answer is no and that was a really heavy no. There was a lot of energy right there. And we can do one more pendulum reading. Yes or no question that you may ask. <laughs> so as expected, the answer to your second question is a yes. Okay, that one wasn't as strong as the first one. The first one was a definite no. This one, this one was a definite yes, but it wasn't as strong. I also saw the day Wednesday, right? And let's see what other messages we can have for you, collective. You have Tuesday, Wednesday, Aquarius. <clears throat> Pisces, the letter R, month of February, Leo, August, number nine, six, Pisces, ooh, I already said Pisces, <laughs> um, and Capricorn. Right. Let's do one final message. Thank you with the moon witch oracle. Okay, so your message from the moon witch oracle is the goddess Kali or Kali. And it says, step into unknown. Do not be afraid. So again, it's reiterating this message of, you know, the next phase is coming and you don't have to keep running from it. Just go ahead, dive right in. Um, <laughs> you know, step right into that unknown energy because the universe has your back and the universe is ready to give you these blessings that you have been working so hard for. So that is all I have for you today. And if you'd like, you can subscribe, leave a like or comment, and I will see you next time. Right? Bye.